going to be able to hear some of the information on our trading belts. Now what I have here are just a couple of trading belts. There is a long list of trading belts out there. The ones I'm going to talk to are pertain to basically after 1794. The ones that actually people still recognize and still, still use to uh, associate our trees. Basically it's, it's a shell. Uh, it's a shell, yeah? yeah. It comes from the, from the east coast. It's a quahawk shell. It's got it's white on the outside, and when you open it up, it has the purple uh, inside of it. Yeah. Like this here. Okay, some of it is can be defined. Some of it is just like this. This is actually a uh, wampum here. Okay? That right there is a two-row wampum. And what they do is they, they break it down, they crush it up, and they drill it. And every single one of those beads in, uh, in the old day was, was done by hand. I don't know if it was done by a machine. It was done by a simple uh, flint and, and stick drill, and it would drill them out. This is two, two different paths, two different rivers. And one river is our canoe in Guahama. Okay. The Haudenosaunee traveled in one canoe here. And the next river is a vessel of the non-natives. Okay. With their laws, their ways. Okay. And the other one is our canoes, our ways, our culture, our people, the way we do it. Okay. And we always said that with this, with this commemoration, we sail in this river here and you sail in this one. These are two separate paths. They shall never cross, and we shall never try to steer the other's vessel. Okay? And that's the way it is today.